Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I was scrolling on Twitter and then I saw this particular movie has been out for 15 years. 15 years? That's... That's a freshman in high school. <laughs> And it's Angus Thongs and Perfect Snogging. Okay, I have watched this movie a number of times. The first time I watched this was on T Nick when I was. I think it was pretty new. I remember thinking, damn, Nickelodeon is insane because this movie is wildly inappropriate. <laughs> if you've never seen this movie, oh, you are in for a treat. Let me tell you, the spit trail scene. It's forever ingrained in my in my brain. Every time that I've watched this movie, all I can think about is how the main character sucks. And I know it seems unfair to rag on a teenage girl in this movie, but like even when I was a teenager watching this movie, in my head I was like, wow, she is a terrible person and a terrible friend. <laughs> it's been a couple years since I last watched it, but I feel like every time I watch it, it's still pretty enjoyable. Let's get into it. Without further ado, let's get started on Angus Thongs and Perfect Snogging. Oh yeah, look at that. The Nickelodeon slime. I know there's like a, it's like a Nickelodeon versus Disney thing, but I gotta say, like, I as much as I loved Disney stuff, Nickelodeon was not afraid <laughs> to be kind of raunchy in a teenage way, which I appreciate, honestly. Not everything can be sanitized like Disney movies. Okay, but like, honestly, her costume was pretty good. Anyone can see I'm a stuffed olive. That's not what I would have assumed, but I would have assumed she's a watermelon. You were supposed to come as a cocktail sausage. You were gonna make her into a sausage? You were setting this girl up. It was supposed to be a laugh. Boys don't like girls for funniness. <laughs> Sorry, to That's that's kind of true. When I was on dating apps, I used to put as my prompt as like, don't hate me if I'm funnier than you. Do you know how many <laughs> upset guys were messaging me? Please, I'm very funny. I'm sorry if that threatens you. She's so lovely. She's so lovely. <laughs> Honestly, every time I watch this movie, I think about how this actress, she had a baby with Ron Weasley. Like that's so random to me. I guess maybe it's not too random. I mean, the UK is an island. I don't know. It's like a mixture of worlds for me. Also, Aaron Taylor Johnson's in this movie. I never knew that until like a couple years ago when I was rewatching it and I was like, wait a minute. I don't know how we make it Full frontal snogging. Wow. I knew this was based off a book. Oh shit, it's based off two books? Whoa, I never knew that. If anyone's read any of those books, let me know if they're good or if this movie's accurate. Full frontal snogging. What other kinds of snogging is there? Behind snogging? Actually, no, let's not think about that. <laughs> oh, girly. <gasps> ah! Every time. Oh, Flip, 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 flip in hell. hell. <laughs> Honestly, I have also made that mistake in my life, but I was like a straight up child. So at least as kids, no one really noticed, which is good on my part. Today is the first day of my life as the new Georgia. She is a mature, sophisticated woman called Miss Georgie Nicholson. <laughs> yeah, as a new woman, she has new eyebrows. I decided what I want to do for my birthday party this year. A proper party in a club with a DJ. So demanding. I'm a woman now. I wear a bra. <laughs> Her parents are the real ones, actually. I feel like if I was a parent, I would also laugh. <laughs> My parents are from the Stone Age. They hate me having a life, because theirs are practically over. And she said their lives are over. <laughs> My nose is the size of Jupiter. I need to go into an ugly home. Georgia. Ugly home? Her nose isn't even that big. Oh man, the body dysmorphia is so real. There's Dave the Love. Idiots. The Bummer twins are the school bullies. Twice as mean, twice as mean. Oh, I bet those girls grew up to be... What's the UK thing? A chav? When the girls wear like really heavy makeup, overly tanned and stuff. Two minutes to 
Damn, does the UK not care about dress code? They're in uniform, they're in private school, so I would assume like the headmistresses would tell them to cover up. When your hands are numb, they lift them up to your bazoomas and press. Bazoomas. It feels like someone else is touching them. Freakalicious. Oh, I... oh my god, these girls are horny. I don't think we should be doing this. It's kind of lesbian-y. Bro, you're touching yourself. Oh my... <laughs> you think touching yourself equates to being a lesbian? Oh, girly. Seeing old people over the age of 30 snogging is just horrific. <gasps> over the age of 30? <laughs> oh man, in less than four years, she's gonna think I'm ancient. Jazz and I invented a snogging scale. How would you know anything about it? Who got 82% in bio? 82%. So impressive. Kiss fasting over three minutes without breath. Bitch, what the fuck? Without breath? Ah, 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 ah. Never mind. Just because I've never experienced that doesn't mean other people haven't. The music. <laughs> they are sex gods. <laughs> Please. Although the casting director did kind of pop off because Aaron Taylor Johnson has always been cute. These girls are stalkers. Please. They are literally like 15 be feet behind them. It's so obvious. And they're so loud. So, Jay, Tom or Robbie, which brother do you want? <laughs> what about me? We saw them first. That's not fair. You have to be emotionally sorted to be ready for a boyfriend. Oh my gosh. The self-awareness is non-existent. These girls are mean to Ellen. It's time for the physical attractiveness test. A little bit caught in the middle. Life is a maze and I don't know why. Ah, what a jam. Mm. Just enjoy the show. Who gave me a four for my nose? Rude. Someone else gave my mouth a six and one third. Six and one third. As friends, why would you rate each other? That's so mean. Lower your voice so you sound sexier. It's so weird watching this as an adult and I'm like, wow, these girls look like children to me. Jazz. Hey, Jazz. How surprise. Oh, God. Oh. How nice to see you, Georgia. I was just picking up some onions for my mum. <sighs> You've been eating organic food for ages. Oh my god, I'm literally getting goosebumps because it's so cringe. Oh no. Stop. Do you need something for a sore throat? <laughs> okay. Thanks, Bobby. It's all right. Can't let my brother work hard serving good looking girls without a cup of tape. Okay. Okay. Smooth. She likes apples. About a pound, yeah? Honestly, can't blame Georgia for being shell shocked. Oh, you're in a band. Oh, what are you called? Stiff Dillons. Great name. Nice. <laughs> I'm a bass player. Did you know bass? Ooh. It's like a universal thing that all bass players are hot. Men, women, non-binary, they're all hot. You like cats? Yeah, love them. They're my lovely jubbly. And he's a cat lover? That is a green flag. What are you doing here? You hate vegetables. Mom, get the hint! I'm getting apples. Apples give you wind. <laughs> she really said apples make you fart. No. My mum is so beyond the valley of the thick. She wasn't that bad. Thick. Her mom is thick though. She's a hot mom. Maybe that's why Georgia has such a complex. And anyway, he was well into you before your mum came in. Don't, so. yeah. don't make her delusional. I know as a friend you want to hype her up, but please do not lie to her. Tom said see you later. He wouldn't say see you later slowly unless he means see you later. Otherwise he would just say see you later. Oh wow this is the type of over analyzing that teen girls do. I say when you like someone kind of relatable not even as a teen even as an adult too you're like huh did they mean this or did they actually mean this? Robbie stop. I promise I won't get in the way. Oh, Maybe they're just mates. Mates don't hold hands. I hold my friend's hands. I can never compete with Lindsay. Yes, you mm. can. You've got much better qualities than her. You gave her a six for her nose. Be for real. Oh no, they gave her a four for her nose, actually. It was the six and three quarters for her mouth. Skinny, mini, blondie, booby, girly girls like Slaggy Lindsay. <gasps> Slaggy? Not a girl's girl. 
You weirdos. They even brought out the binoculars. It's like Lindsay should know that all those ancient women did not burn their bras and give women the vote so she could wear a thong. Y'all need to stop, weirdos. <gasps> but she's got Robbie and I haven't even kissed a boy. Oh no, it's it's coming up. It's educational. You'll gain skills Lindsay can only dream of. Oh, please. I know it's coming, but every time I can't, I can't watch it. Hi. Oh, his voice. The insane side part. 2008 was a time. He has that many clients. Not! Hugh Grant. A poster of Hugh Grant. The right tune creates the right vibe. Coldplay, 50 Cent. How do you kiss the 50 Cent? Okay, classic. On average, a person will have over 26,000 snogs in their lifetime. Where are you getting this data? We go to the standard one first. Wow, you're a natural. I hate him. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it so much. She didn't even do anything. <laughs> You're a quick learner. <laughs> He's bullshitting, I hate him. Tongues. Avoid washing machine syndrome. 18 minutes passed? Do you think she didn't breathe for three minutes at least? Mm -mm. Sadly. <gasps> oh my god, I can't. Ah, it's so gross every single time. She was just that good. He was entranced. That's a big no-no. Rookie mistake. You don't fall in love with a client. I'm a snogging sensation. <laughs> she kissed one boy and she thinks she's a snogging god out here. I can get a very good race at the community hall. We've thrown some legendary bashes there. Oh, we right. still know how to get down. <laughs> She should be so lucky that her parents love each other. Please stop snogging. It's not normal. Maybe they make out in front of her in front of their children a little too much, but you know, it's better than them hating each other. I've been offered a promotion. Oh, cool. Jobs in New Zealand. Dad, you should totally go. One less parent to deal with. If dad goes to New Zealand, I can easily get around mum and have my dream party. She's an awful person. She heard that her dad could relocate to New Zealand and she was like, ah, oh, score, I can get a party. We just pretend Angus is missing, so I get Robbie to help me find him. I've got my sex card, then we get you yours, and we're all set up for my party. The she is delusional. Is that Tom? He has got a fit bum. I can't. <laughs> she said, ah, oh, his ass is so nice. And they show the flattest white boy ass. It's my cat. I don't know what happened. He just disappeared. Oh, wow. That's a nice poster. Go out and look with you, but I've got to help my mom in the shop. Thanks, Robbie. Do you interact with him aside from when he's in his family's shop? If I lost Jubbly, I'd be really upset too. Yeah, I'm pretty gutted. <laughs> she smiles. <laughs> Angus. Angus. Where are they looking? I like to come to the beach. Let's go to the beach, eat. Write songs. About what? Life, universe, how reality TV is brainwashing us. Damn. I forgot that it was the consensus in 2008. I, for one, I love reality TV. It's so trashy, but I just, I, I eat it up. It's just so entertaining. Now, surely they have never experienced Love Island UK yet. They would change their mind. I've taken the uncle guitar face to a whole new level. Let's see you on then. <laughs> oh wow, look at them bonding. Ooh, hands on the waist. In her head, she's thinking, I am in there. So is that your man behind the tail? She's really pretty. Mine's mental. She's mad as a hatter. Stop ragging on your mom! My parents just got divorced. My brother's back. Yeah. I'm sorry, George. I messed it all up. What do you mean she messed it all up? Well, you got to spend time with him, so... Oh, I'll see you. See you later, then. See you later. Again. Uh, Jazz? Yeah? Do you want to go out sometime? <laughs> ah! Tom's cute, girl. Ooh, got it! And look at Georgia being all pouty. Can't even be happy for her friend. But he's from a broken home. You have to be extra mature. Totally. George, she just manages to say the shittiest things. Promise me you won't hang out with any Kiwi women while you're away. I'm not going out there to be living la vida loca. Oh, I'm glad you still think your dad's a handsome old devil, even if he does belong in the Stone Age. <laughs> Her parents are cool. She does not get how lucky she is. Mr. Peter Dyer. <gasps> oh no. It's the 
saliva boy. What? Why would she say that? Why would she say that in front of her parents? He called twice. Zitney Spears or what? Zitney Spears? I just don't know if I need to wear a bra to make me look more mature. Or if it'll just go bunchy under my top and make me look fatter. Pencil test. Fatter? You think you're fat right now? Do you think maybe you could tell Tom how much better I am for Robbie than Slaggy Lindsay? She has a name. It's just Lindsay. Stop. Is that a doorknob in the middle of the door? Can we stop dressing Angus up in drag? Let her be! She's having fun! And the cat doesn't seem to mind. If the cat didn't like it, the cat would show you. Tom's lips are so soft. Earth to Jazz, did you talk about me and Robbie? Be happy for your friend. Come on, Jazz was starting out delusional like you and somehow she got the man. Be happy for her. Let her talk about how Tom's lips are soft and how he smells good. But what about me and Robbie? Hello, gorgeous. Oh shit, oh my god, oh my god. They are going at it. Washing machine syndrome or what? <gasps> See what I mean? See what I mean? Georgia is not a supportive girl's girl. Okay, although I would feel kind of betrayed if a friend of mine went to sit with other people and not with our group. Oh, gross. Him and his little groupies. We all think you've really changed since you've got a man in your life. Oh, come on. As if Georgia wouldn't change if she actually got Robbie. The double standards. <gasps> a thong. <sighs> Have you bought- I can't believe Nickelodeon showed this movie. What are you waving at, Minga? <gasps> Minger? Oh, I know enough UK slang to know that is- that's an insult. <laughs> I saw you floor Georgia. Okay, coach. You can give me a spanking and I'll never do it again. Oh, jeez. Ooh. Ooh, he turned away from the kiss. He moved in for full frontal snogging, but he can. Oh, that's what they mean by full frontal snogging? I'm really sorry I tripped you. You were playing absolutely brilliantly. Fake. Wow, Lynch, that's really cool. Uh, no way he believed that apology. I mean, uh, uh, not surprising. I feel like teenage boys are that dense and they're like, wow, Lindsay's so nice. She's the bigger person. <laughs> You're so lucky you don't have dark hair like me. Why do you have to shave my armpits now? Well, my mom's got sideburns. There is nothing wrong about, there's nothing wrong with sideburns. If you have long hair, it literally doesn't matter. Oh man. When you get dissatisfied with how you look, you start to pick apart every single small thing. It's terrible. The door's only close to my privacy. Don't be silly. You're the fruit of my womb. Bro, oh, she's drunk as fuck. What evs? Your mum is <laughs> well wicked. You minger. See, if my friend's mom acted like that, I would love it. Ooh, the swooped bang. I remember that. Oh man, a hard watch for sure. I'm really into you. I have to kiss you. Ah! <gasps> oh, her underwear! You have to tell Robbie that Peter's not my boyfriend. That's not what it looked like. Why don't you tell people that Peter literally forced himself on you? Oh man, I... Uh, always blame it on the girl, huh? You have to come to the pool with me. Oh, but I hate swimming. It makes my hair go frizzy. Please. Well, you don't have to go in the water. But now I've got even bigger problems. <laughs> Oh my god. What happened? Damn, wait, I don't remember what happened. What's wrong with her legs? <laughs> the way that she just jumped in. About last night. It wasn't all what it looked like. That's good. Let's do handstands. Oh. She tried to tan, fake tan her legs. Ooh, he's touching her legs. That is a sign that he's interested. They're <laughs> like. Giant cheesy puffs. <laughs> <laughs> if someone called my legs giant cheesy puffs. Okay, well, I mean, good for Georgia, I guess. Wait, is he not dating Lindsay? I forgot. Gotta sort some things out. I'll call you. Oh, like break up with Lindsay? Mm -mm -mm. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Yeah, I'm still stuck on the cheesy, <laughs> giant cheesy puffs. Oh my god. He said her legs are. Big, fat, and yellow. <laughs> I really want you to join me in New Zealand. What? Are you mad? I can't go now. That's a huge move. See? This is what happens. She was like, oh, 
my dad's going to be gone. Uh Uh-huh, party time. But she didn't think about the repercussions of what would happen when her dad actually goes. Hey, babe. Mm. Babe? Oh my god. Get Everyone is party. delusional in this you just movie. You're driving me crazy. Driving me crazy. I can't go out with you because... Oh yeah, because she, she says she's a lesbian. Because I'm a lesbian. A lesbo. Oh, he's so sad. Well, at least Peter's not one of those guys that are like, Don't worry with me, baby. <laughs> I'll turn you straight. Lindsay, she's moved her party to the same date as yours. Who won't let me have a cool party in a club? No decent boys will ever want to know me because I'm the nerf girl who had the sub party that no one went to. Georgia! Ooh, the shoulder bump. I don't think I knew anyone who had like a cool birthday party. Well, maybe because I wasn't a, I wasn't a part of the popular crowd, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe there were, but I don't know. I feel like the best birthday parties tend to be the ones that are like small and intimate with all your close friends. This is a very special book. I already knew boys were from a different planet. Oh, that book? Like women are from Venus and men are from Mars or something? They act like they like you and then they just ignore you. Actually, yeah. Robbie is kind of messy for that. Dating Lindsay, but then kiss Georgia. Gross. <gasps> that is kind of weird. I'm getting really worried. Weird scene. It's my mum's boy bible. And it boy bible? Girl. Isn't that book American? Then it'd be about American boys, won't it? It's about boy kind. Oh. I mean, I feel like Jazz has a point. They like to be all close, and then after a bit of being close, they have to stretch and get far away, and you have to let them, and then they come springing back. <laughs> That is terrible advice. If he's being hot and cold with you, girl, no, no, he is not worth the trouble. I asked his mate, Dave the Laugh, to the gig. You asked out the guy who was lighting farts on fire? Okay. I have to prove to Robbie that I'm sophisticated and grown up. Oh, wow. She's doing the whole make him jealous ploy. The conclusion is that Robbie comes springing back like an elastic band. Oh my god, her mom set her up with that book. What's the first thing you notice in a girl? I see nunga nungas. Complete with the hand gestures. When you hold one and then it goes, it goes nunga nunga nunga. <laughs> You make me laugh like a loon on a loon tablet. Mm. What can you expect from a boy lighting farts on fire? Fall in love with someone, fall in love, in love with someone, fall in love with someone who fall in love with. Wow, the perfect song. I was just gonna go say hi to Dave the Laugh. No time. Everyone's coming back to mine. So he didn't sort out his shit. One of the best nights of my life. She went in with the handshake. Ooh. See you soon, beautiful. Oh. I mean, aside from the nunga nunga thing, he seems like a sweet boy. I keep seeing his face when he tried to kiss me. I didn't mean to lead him on. You? What do you mean? Didn't mean to lead him on. You can't ask out a guy and go on a date and be like, oh man, I didn't mean to lead him on. Jazz told Tom you only went out with me to make Robbie jealous. <gasps> oh damn, Jazz. If you went so loved up with Cabbage Boy, you would have thought about that before opening your fat gob. Oh, just stop Jeez. being so jealous, Georgia. Yeah, yeah. Jealous? He's not even good enough for you, Jazz. Do you seriously want to spend the rest of your life picking out cabbages? You raggedy bitch. Well, at least Tom loves me. Robbie isn't even your boyfriend. Well, he would have been if you, you scared Robbie away with all your scheming and pretending. And you said Lindsay was fake. Ooh, Jazz. I'm give you a four for your nose. And I'm going to Lindsay's party instead of yours. <gasps> oh, fuck. Jazz was spitting some straight facts. Although... The four for the nose thing is kind of messed up. He's my mate, Georgia. I didn't mean to use him. Girl. You never called me when you said you would. Handled it really badly, I know. Like, I didn't want a two-time anyway. Or hurt anybody's feelings. Then you shouldn't have kissed Georgia. So you were thinking of breaking up with Lindsay, and then you were going to call me? Yeah. But he didn't. That's the thing. And then I saw you with Dave at my gig. I was gutted. Gutted. Why did you tell Jazz that my brother wasn't good enough for her? We were fine. Does that mean I'm not good enough for you either? No. Exactly. So I thought you were different than that, Georgia. You're just a kid. You only think about yourself. Ooh, get her. Ooh. See, Georgia did this to herself. Who is she to judge Tom? Come on. Like I said, Jazz was making some straight points. Georgia was so obsessed with Robbie. She was scheming, scheming, scheming. He, he wasn't even her boyfriend. And yet she felt entitled to say all of that to Jazz, who was actually dating the boy that she liked. They seem to have a healthy, I don't know, 
know, healthy relationship, whatever. They, I mean, she seemed happy. It seems like they love each other. She was so jealous, only thinking of herself. You know, typical teenage girl things. <laughs> Maybe we should stay here and let him go off on his own. I should have left mine ages ago. I know it's later revealed that um, Jem is gay. It does look bad on the mom. Her ogling Jem, going salsa dancing with Jem. Like, the way she even looked at him just now. And then the thong. It all looks bad. Like, I don't blame Georgia for coming to that conclusion. Would it be possible to speak with his boss? I was gonna ask him if my dad could come back. You see, we really don't want to move out to New Zealand. We don't want him to leave us and stay there. <laughs> we just really don't want us to be apart. That was a good acting moment right there. Genuinely felt kind of sad for her. I'm ready to talk about this party you want so badly. I don't want it anymore. I want to go to New Zealand. Ooh. It's a huge opportunity for dad. You should support him too. I don't know. Uprooting yourself to go to another country is tough. Especially when you're like, when you're still in high school. It could be that she's maturing, but it also could be her running away from her problems with Robbie and Jazz and everything. What about her other friends? Like, I know she had a falling out with Jazz. Are her other friends still talking to her? There are five things I will do now to be more mature and prepare for my new life in New Zealand. Listen to dolphins because they're clever and unselfish. Dolphins are actually evil? For a new me. Ooh, that at home highlights a canon event. I don't blame you for not wanting to talk to me. I really am sorry. Broke up with Lindsay last night. Wow. Or at least he's taking some accountability. I wrote a song about you. It's called Bitch in a Uniform. <laughs> I mean, even though it's a negative sounding song, any type of art form about you being the muse. It's kind of flattering. Maybe we can go out. I'm moving to New Zealand. What? Oh, rip. My dad's just got a job out there. And then my mum started acting weird with this builder guy. So I said I'll go out there. Mm, she's trying to save their marriage. It's just a shame. You're leaving. Yeah, that is a shame. Damn. You could have dated Aaron Taylor Johnson? That is a tragedy. No, hold my hands in my pin so we can at least walk together so we don't look like sad kids. <laughs> in shapes just for your eyes. <gasps> oh girl, how long did you leave the bleach in? I was experimenting before I dyed the whole thing. You wanted to dye the whole thing? Oh girl, good thing she did a test strand. She would be bald. As annoying as Georgia can be, I am very glad that she is trying to be mature. She owned up to the things she did and said. Even though she basically shipped her dad off to another country, at least she recognizes that this is like a huge opportunity for him and that you know she wants her parents together and all that you know. we want you to get whatever you want and maybe something nice to wear for tonight i'm taking you to your first nightclub first nightclub how old are the characters again i didn't go to my first club until i was like 20. okay she looks good for 2008 yeah that's a cute dress really nice color on her too Now I just I I just don't believe this. Jazz helped me organize the whole thing. Why? She never apologized to Jazz. If they had included a scene where Georgia apologized beforehand and Jazz was like, "Yeah, fuck you" or whatever, and then this happened, that would have been believable. I would have been like, "Yeah, okay, that makes sense. She forgave uh, Georgia for everything she said." But no, Georgia, we didn't see Georgia apologize. So Jazz is a pushover. <laughs> Please don't get divorced. What are you on about? Aww. How cute. Also, kind of unbelievable that this many people know Georgia enough to like go to her birthday party. I thought Georgia was supposed to be kind of like a loser. It must be really hard for you to come to my office. My boss ordered me home immediately. They offer me a great new position here. Wow, look at how that just works out. I mean, good for them. Now she can date Robbie. Happy birthday, Georgia. Jem's boyfriend owns this club. He helped arrange all this for you. That's nice. Interior decorator. Hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Put your hands in the air. I'm wearing your luggage. Just don't care. Embarrassing. Honestly, they should have made Lindsay a lot more mean for that to have been a satisfying ending. Because yeah, okay, she tripped her in PE, said some mean words. She needed to be like mean girl level Regina George kind of shit for that to have felt good as like a resolution. Now this is a new song I wrote and it's about Georgia. She's a, problem to solve. a problem to solve? Oh, I can fix her! 
Oh, Dave the Laugh and then Ellen. Oh yeah, they like pair off each friend. They pair off the friend whose name I don't remember. Not with Peter. Anyone but Peter. Georgia, you know how Peter's like and how pushy he is. Why would you pair your friend? Oh, wow. Okay, Ellen, move fast. Ooh. I know you're upset, but let's be mature adults. <laughs> okay, Georgia. This is your last chance. It's either her, sad olive girl who gets everything wrong, or me, the woman who's so perfect for you. Girl, he already dumped you. What do you mean? His last chance. Be so serious right now. Georgia's perfect too. She's just a perfect nutter. Oh, that's cute. Obviously, Robbie prefers his girlfriends unfake. <laughs> oh, wow, she really dug in. Ah, she dug into her bras to grab them. Oh my god. Stop with the Ninga Ningas. I'm sorry she tried to ruin your party. Yeah, but I mean, kind of memorable. Not gonna lie. This is a good story to talk about. Like, oh, you know, back in the day, my boyfriend defended me in front of hundreds of people. Well, not hundreds. There's like a hundred people. Many people. <laughs> also, the song that they were performing was sweet. But imagine if he performed bitch in a uniform at her birthday party. That would have been so funny. I don't care anymore about looking perfect. It's so overrated. Okay, learning to love herself. Because my sex god boyfriend likes me just the way I am. Okay, don't refer to your boyfriend as sex god, please. Oh, she won. Horrible throughout the entire movie and she ended up with Aaron Taylor Johnson. Jeez, a real fantasy movie for sure. That was a good watch. Honestly, I feel like it still holds up. Even though I'm not in the target demographic for this movie anymore, it's still good. It's a good little teen movie. And I feel like it's kind of accurate to the teenage experience. Uh, albeit like a little, um, whatchamacallit, exaggerated, but what teenage movie isn't? Alrighty, Georgia, annoying, but she was also a teenage girl. You're hormonal, you like someone, you go kind of crazy. I kind of get it. But I think the way that she treated Jazz and the rest of her friends was kind of abysmal. Robbie's a nice boy. Even though he kind of two-timed her, like led her on a little bit, kissing her when he was still with Lindsay, maybe they actually do deserve each other. <laughs> the whole thing with Peter, mm. It makes me cringe every time. Whenever I watch movies about teens in high school and like them getting into a relationship, I always like to think about whether or not they last after graduating. Like in 10 Things I Hate About You, I imagine that she goes off to college and he kind of like stays behind and they break up. Naturally, they drift. Troy and Gabriella from High School Musical, I actually imagine them getting married for this couple. I do not think that they would last. They're the kind of couple that would like argue about small things like all the time and then like they would just break up. What do you think of this movie? Do you dislike Georgia as much as I do? Now that I've rewatched it, I don't dislike her as much. I feel like I was way more harsh about her in the previous watches, but like watching this now, analyzing her behavior, I'm like, huh, the things that she did was pretty shitty, but who is a perfect teenager? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you for the next video.